Well, sharing is caring. Sharing the gospel. You are dead right now. Your sin has subverted you and murdered your spirit when you were a toddler and first sinned against your own conscience and the law of your mother. And any law that you consciously sinned against and you giggled and you're going to be judged in hell and the fiery furnaces of the lake of fire after that. After you're taken out of hell, judged and thrown in there. Because your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life. Who died for our sins and was buried and God resurrected him on the third day. And he was seen afterward by many witnesses. And so we must call on his name to be saved by verbally confessing Master, Jesus. And then believing those things and confessing Master, Jesus. We will be saved because with the mouth confession is made to salvation. From the natural consequence of our sin, which is death. And death is the only, sin is the only cause of death. Did you know that? Physical death is caused by sin. We are meant to live forever. But Adam's sin corrupted our bodies when he passed down his corrupted gene code to us. It's so sad. And a human being had to die perfect in order to cover it. And because nobody was found worthy to do that, God sent His only human-sired Son to earth in a human body to die for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures. And then He was buried. And then God resurrected Him on the third day in accordance with the prophecies beforehand and the descriptions of it afterward that are found in the scriptures. And then he was seen by Peter and the disciples and over 500 brothers at one time, most of whom were still alive at the time when Paul wrote to the Corinthian congregation this formulation of salvation doctrine that he learned. And then Jesus was seen after them by James and then the apostles and then by Paul wrote about half the New Testament. Sharing is caring. You may need a meal today. You may need shelter now. You may need clothes and a comfort. You may need to cry. And you may need to tell somebody your idea. But this is the best thing I could give you. And for most of you, it's the only thing I possibly could give you. Be glad you've heard it. Be glad you know how to be saved. It's not by taking Jesus into your heart, though we do that. It's not by wanting to be saved, though we do that. It's by believing those four things and doing that one thing.